Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the car, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to Cornwall, welcome back to It's Winter, It's Windy, It's Very, Very Windy Today. I opened the door to, uh, to put the cameras in and I just got pinched in the car. The, the wind grabbed the door and just like slammed it on my legs and I was like, oh, it is very windy today, extraordinarily windy unbelievable from an area of the UK which is basically just a very thin spit of land which pokes out into the Atlantic. The Atlantic which, if you stare towards the setting sun, uh, is, is not too far in that direction. In fact, if I kept my foot down and kept the car just, just ramped it straight off of Land's End and kept the car going somehow above the ocean waves, if you keep going in that direction for lo long enough, you'll get to Newfoundland. Newfoundland, which I think is Canada? A lot of people think that if you just head in that direction you'll end up in New York, but no, you'll, you'll end up way further north than you think you will. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. What I wanted to talk about is the channel and the next few weeks because we are coming up to Christmas, which I know some people don't celebrate Christmas, um, either because it's just not in your culture or it's just not something done in that part of the world or it's just not something you, you yourself want to observe. And that's fine. In the UK, Christmas is more of an excuse to visit family. Just remember all of the people, family, friends um, and the like, who you haven't seen in a while and it's just like yeah let's let's get together let's uh let's kind of sit down have a chat um and we do buy each other little presents like uh in in my personal family um little presents little tiny tiny little presents but something that you can just open up um little thought thoughtful gifts as thoughtful as possible so i try and find little things for people i've been wrapping presents i, I was doing that yesterday Unfortunately, I don't have a table other than the computer table to sit at. So I was doing it on the floor and I was kind of folding myself up in weird, I want to say yoga poses, but more origami poses to a point where I just kind of, kind of got to a point. Where I was like, I've been in a stress position for a couple of hours. I need to stand up, get a cup of tea and not do this. So I've done about half of the, half of the wrapping. But it does mean over the next few weeks, I'm going to be driving backwards and forwards between um, family members' abodes, which means I'm not going to have so much time to record uh, certain videos. And I know some people, oh my word, we haven't been driving that long and already the windshield is covered in salt. As you can see, I live next to the sea. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to have that much in the this, in this sort of uh, time to record long episodes of things, which means, although I do have the devil and me queued up to record, probably not going to be able to do that until after Christmas. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know some people really, really want to see the devil and me, uh, which is the sequel to House of Ashes, which is a sequel to uh, Little Hope, which is a sequel to... Um, and what was the first game? I remember the first game. I did it. It was Man of Medan. Um, interestingly, as an aside, there are two things that have come from this. Although you won't get uh, The Devil and Me until maybe the end of this year, maybe the beginning of next year, just so I have a nice run of weeks where I can actually record it, uh, there is something that I've been looking at for... Uh, for a Christmas Day special, because for the past few years we've done Christmas Day specials. Uh, Nick and I have been in GTA 5 multiplayer, delivering high explosive, high velocity toys to the children. And uh, I actually can't, oh, last year was Trombone Champ, that was a fun one. But this year, this year I found something very special. And if you do like uh, The Devil in Me, or at least you like the idea of it, I've, uh, I found something. It may or may not work. I'm just gonna have to give it a little uh, play test to see if, um, see if it runs on my system. Just a little play test, it'll be fine. So that's what I've been looking at. Also, also in the news, um, related to The Quarry, which is related to all of the other supermassive games we've been playing. I really liked The Quarry. 
uh, that was the that was the standalone supermassive game that was actually quite long, and I loved that game. And one of the characters that I really liked in it was Caitlin Carr, uh, played by Brenda Song. And one of the things, ah, yeah, one of the things she had was little bee earrings, and I think the bees articulated like halfway down, so they they would do like a little uh, every time her character moved, they'd do a little wiggle. Love that character. Love the fact that she could be. Um, sort of sarcastic, humorously sarcastic, but then when the chips were down, her character would uh, would just like, I'm a, I, I know mechanics. We need to get out of here. Let's just let's just get this done. Let's save ourselves from this horror nightmare. That uh, character is played by Brenda Song. Brenda Song is the fiance, or she's engaged to marry. Uh, Macaulay Culkin. What? I believe they have two children together. I had no idea. I was just like, wait a second. I know these two people. Well, not personally, but yeah, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone, Christmas, uh, Home Alone, and uh, Home Alone Two: Lost in New York. And I'm just like, oh my word, those are really good films. I love those films. So, yeah, The Quarry, via its actor. Has a sort of a, a Christmas tie-in, I guess. I, I had no idea. So yeah, Brenda Song, who plays Caitlin Carr in The Quarry, is, in, is uh, engaged to Macaulay Culkin, who played uh, Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. And to this day, no one knows how Macaulay Culkin's father managed to afford a mansion um, for the that that house was huge. That house in that film was enormous. Nobody knows how he managed to afford it, but it was explained in the film that the trip to Paris was being paid for by another family member. So yeah, he didn't pay for the trip, but he he did. He was somehow able to afford the house. That's crazy, super crazy. So yeah. Um, other than that, all the other episodes of stuff are going to be going out as much as I can get them out. So things like Baldur's Gate three. I mean, it, it's fine. It's not. It's not something that I'm super upset if we miss a week on it. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, obviously, it, it won game, the Game of the uh, Game of the Year award this year, and uh, the actor Neil something or other, I can't remember his full name. I don't know why, but yes, he plays Astarion in Baldur's Gate 3. He got a he got a voice acting award for the game as well, and I'm just like, yeah, and he was like. We see, and you know, it doesn't matter who you are playing this game. We see you. He did a lovely speech, and it was it was quite nice. So yeah, um, it's a well deserved, uh, well deserved title. Baldur's Gate Three, obviously published by Larian. Larian also uh, had a hand in Disco Elysium. So if you look at the Disco Elysium credits, Larian's name is right in there. Disco Elysium was Metacritic's most highly rated game until Baldur's Gate 3 came along, which became Metacritic's most highly rated game. So is Baldur's Gate 3 and then Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium, which I absolutely loved. I played that this year and I, uh, I was very much in love with that game. It was great. It had a kind of Cowboy Bebop vibe to it in that uh, as you went along you would meet characters and you would you would gain friends in the world which is kind of like how the anime Cowboy Bebop um, starts you've, you've got uh, two characters and they meet another character and they're aboard a, a spaceship and it's like if you've never seen Cowboy Bebop as an anime it's probably worth watching it's worth your time watching not so much the Netflix series didn't really gel with that mostly because I don't think the writers understood the material, even though they professed to love it. So that was a thing. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, wow. It's super, like literally, I'm expecting the Red Baron to come out of the sun any minute and machine gun the car. I mean, he doesn't know that we've got our own special weapon built into it. But then if you're flying a, uh, a Fokker Tridecker, then you're not expecting a car with an EMP just to take out your alternator. Oh, sh oh, you're here. Uh, don't tell anyone. Shh. Anyway, so yes, uh, wow, it is very bright and very windy. 
which is very different to how it was yesterday, which was very salty, hence the salt, and very, um, very wet. We had a flood warning all last uh, last weekend, and in fact, the week before. In fact, we I don't think we've had a time when the flood warning has been lifted. So that's a fun one. Good. We haven't been to Penzance in a while. I just wanted somewhere different to go. So it's just like, let's go to Penzance. It's different. If you can even see anything at all through the stuff that's acute. I washed, I cleaned the windows just before we left. I cleaned them. That is what living on the coast does to your vehicle. So, um, yes, okay, so uh, Stranded Deep will carry on because it always has. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 will carry on because it always has. Um, there may be some gaps in Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, God of War because of traveling backwards and forwards for Christmas. Um, I'm not going to start deviling me until I've stopped traveling backwards and forwards because otherwise you might get an episode and then there might be two weeks and then the second episode comes along, which is kind of not fair. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to clean it. No, this is not doing anything. Um, which isn't really fair because you guys probably want the whole story all at once and I'm figuring it might be a three or four episode. Uh, it might be a four episode because of the, the game mechanics involved in this one. And uh, yeah, something special is coming along for Christmas Day, assuming I can get it working. Um, because what I've, what I've found is a little old, so yeah. Good. Oh, it is raining over there. Oh, it's, it's nice to know that Cornwall hasn't changed at all. So, uh, yes, for everyone who's been donating on coffee, because you can donate, the channel is now above a thousand subscribers, but I haven't turned advertising on because I don't feel the need to turn advertising on. The donations have actually been getting more in the terms of currency than, um, than adverts ever would. And I know about CPMs and things, but that's just the way things are. Uh, that has actually helped recently because I've needed to uh, renew, uh, renew hosting and renew the domain, um, like the domain fees for uh, Overdrive Theatre. So I've had to do that, and plus the plus the content, uh, the, the, the 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 domain protection. That was it. It's actually twice as much as it should be. I was like, wait, why is it twice as much as it should be? Oh yeah, you got. You got domain protection as well, because you're not a silly boy. So good, uh, as we back into this, the car is, I cleaned this thing. I, I don't understand it. Well, I do. It's called the Atlantic. The Atlantic does it. Ooh, the Atlantic. And it's getting bigger as well. So that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, uh, yes, thank you for everyone who's donated. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed. Thank you for everyone who's just been here because it's been, it's been a good year. I think it's been a good year, but uh, I'm gonna leave it there. So um, if you like these videos, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe, it's free. If you do subscribe, dingle the bingle, if you want notifications. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.